What's going on, people, man? We back at it like a crack at it. It's showtime. Show man, we're here. We're here with another reaction video. It's not a reaction video. It's, it is a reaction video. We reacting to the um to the whole Jay-Z stuff that has been going on, Jay-Z, Beyonce stuff that has been going on in the music industry, pop culture, just period, just what's going on in the world. It got um music ties it got racial ties it got a whole bunch of ties and my name is ty it just got a whole bunch of stuff just surrounded in one it, it's 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 a lot it's a lot so i'll, I'll hopefully can deep dive in it hopefully not i don't we gonna see you for me it's black history month and we're like you yeah so um all right so this whole thing with the whole jay-z beyonce stuff basically as y'all know jay-z came out while well, speaking and stuff and was like, hey, my wife got the most Grammys of all time. How is she not winning for Grammy of the year? I mean, for album of the year, which she should have. When she um, went against Adele, Adele was like, she should have won. Like, like, what are we talking about? It's the same thing with freaking Macklemore and freaking Kendrick Lamar. Macklemore won, for, won a freaking rap album of the year over Kendrick. And Kendrick it was um I think it was good kid Mad City. Is we like what are we talking about? Is we dumb? Like, come on now. So yeah, um, all right, so we're gonna we gonna jump right into it, man. We're gonna deep dive into it. I'm gonna try to deep dive into it. We're gonna read a little bit of it and then go, you for me. Yeah. All right, so it says the Grammys Beyonce snub speaks to a deeper problem. The em emblem their envelopment or whatever the they are they are a bellic of how awards have failed black artists okay there's been long out long been outrage over the grammy's beyonce stop snub for the awards highest honor omissions have infer um infuriated the fans and the prominent celebrities alike at the 2024 awards on february 4th beyonce's husband jay-z became the latest to call them out cast stating um the show for its history of overlooking black artists and including his superstar wife we want y'all to get it right at least get it close to right jay-z said i don't want to embarrass this young lady but she has more grammys than everyone and has never won album of the year so by your own metrics that does not work um he became the limit the latest of prominent figures who raised points of his fashion including likes of adele like i said earlier in the video adele um, and Kanye West in the past, increasingly the reference to Beyonce is overlooking the institutions like the Grammys and the MTV Music Awards, who um, have become more common both because of egregious, they fell on, they fail, they fail on the metric or fail on the metric, and also because of what they represent. Um, all right, so like me, I like, I'm for what the heck they talking about what Beyonce I mean what Jay-Z is talking about like it's crazy it's crazy work and but it, it's 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 weird because it's like it has not it's like it's like a whole thing I don't I don't get it I don't get it because it's like yo black people we have like for real for real, when it comes to the culture period like yo we run mother freaking culture like the music the fashion entertainment i don't get it we run this stuff like we lead the stuff everything we do mofos copy it i like, guess just it's just been proven you could go back in history and see at the at the start of the music and stuff who was at the front black people country music who was at the start Black people, like, what are we, like, what are we talking about? Like, we can go to country, but if we know hip hop, R and B, um, pop music, we can just go to the to the forefront of it and see who the who the freak did all this. But it just feels like like these big awards, whatever, just keep on snubbing and snubbing and snubbing, and like the whole um like Grammy thing, the Artist of the Year thing with Beyonce and stuff. And I'm not, but it, but it's always every time like it gets like this big to a level with Beyonce, it's always leading with Taylor Swift. Like, look, I like look Taylor Swift for real, for real. This girl might be, I think, honestly, the most hated artist. It gotta be in in years. 
in years. I ain't gonna cap with you. Like, in years. Like, I mean, Kanye, you could probably say Kanye. Kanye and everything. But in Taylor Swift, for real, if we, if we speaking, like, she got the football heads coming at her, and then she got black folk coming at her. Like, it, like, she got, I'm like, she got, me, Swift is cool. Swift, like, I acknowledge Taylor Swift is like, I acknowledge you're a tribal chief. I acknowledge Taylor Swift, like, that girl like that, bro. Like, she's like that. I mean, her music, sometimes it can be born, you feel me? Like, the album, that album was born, bro. Like, I'm telling y'all, bro, that album was trash. Not, not gonna say trash. It went out, but at the same time, bro, that album was not it. Compared to her other joints, bro, that album was not it. That album, that Taylor Swift album was not it, bro. And I listened to Taylor Swift. That joint was not it. I'm just a music head, so I'm gonna listen to anything that dropped. Like, that's just me. Album was not it. It wasn't hitting. Other joints, cool. I give you that, Swift. This joint, nah. Like, nah, this, this, hey, this, hey, this ain't it. But, it, but then, like, even Beyonce, her um father came out and was like, um, I think Capital or something. I think that's the record label she part of. Or let me just rephrase that. The, the whatever record label that Beyonce part of. I'm not gonna spew the names out there. And you feel me? Mobile try to come at me. The album, well, the record labels they can only do like I guess one artist for one category, which is stupid. I don't get that. So you can only do one album per like record label. I mean, one person per record label, which is which is crazy. Which is crazy. Um, and it just feels like that for some reason I don't like Beyonce the album that she put out Renaissance joint was a freaking that, that album was crazy freaking Lemonade that joint was freaking crazy like Lemonade Lemonade was Beyonce best freaking out that, that she, to me honestly that she ever put out and she been having bangers and bangers and bangers and bangers and it just it just blows my mind I, I truly don't understand it like how can Beyonce, Beyonce, one of the greats, one of the greats. I'm not going to call her GOAT to me, but like when it comes to, like, to music, performances, all that, Beyonce, her. Like it's for men, Michael Jackson. For women, performances, all that, the whole package, Beyonce. This is my personal opinion. Like when it comes to entertainment, everything like of just like, Music wise, when it comes like the females, Beyonce's at the top. You can say that you can have like your different levels of like who's the greatest singer and all that. Like the greatest um dancer, you can say that, whatever. But when you put it as like a whole thing of just entertainment, Beyonce won. Then it's everybody else. On the male side, when it comes to the dancing, the singing, the entertainment of it, the entertainer. It's Michael Jackson. That's what it come down to. And for Beyonce to be the GOAT of the of just females, of like entertainment, this and the third, the singing, the dancing, the just the music, period. For her not to have that, it's freaking crazy. And like the girl has been getting snubbed for years on years on years on years on years. Alright, so as I was saying that Beyonce has been getting snubbed for years on years on years. And like it's a, it's, it got to be a deeper thing with this, um, especially with the Grammys and stuff. Like, black artists and everything has been always speaking out on the Grammys. Like, yo, like, what the freak is going on? Even, um, especially with hip-hop and stuff like that, um, hip-hop artists especially feel like they always been, like, taken back as, like, a backlash for just being hip-hop, just being black culture and stuff. Even in the 80s and stuff, um, they never even showed the first Grammys until we, like... The pioneers of hip hop spoke up and everything, and then they finally were showing the Grammys um, on television. But to me, like it's like a whole. It, I get it. It is. It, it is a racial aspect to it. Like you just, they can deny it all they want, but you can just see it. You can just see it. You can just see it, and how um, they present the awards, how they. The awards that they give out to with it, um, the people that they give the awards to, you can just see, you can just see, um, it just feels like that most of the time they give the awards to the, um, cookie cut, um, cookie cut 
little da -da -da -da. like I'm just gonna say not white collar, but I would say preppy, the little status quo or the one that's not gonna come up on stage and say what's on their mind for the most part. Like, and it feels like the people that say they mind the most at these award shows is the black people. Cause for the most part, in a way, we just don't give a fluff and we just gonna speak up on what on what's wrong. Like that's just how we rock. That's just how I rock, period. I'm gonna speak up on what the freak going on. If I don't like what's going on, I'm gonna speak up about it like, yo, what's up? Um Yeah, that's that's just how I rock. So and that's the way how Jay-Z rock, and Jay-Z's like Jay-Z got nothing to lose at this point anyway. Jay-Z a freaking billionaire. That man can do whatever he wants, say whatever he wants for the most part. That's not like crazy. Like, he's not going to get canceled for this. He's speaking up about it. Like, that's what he's doing. He's not going to get canceled for saying this. Like, everybody been saying it. Jay-Z straight. He can he can have that backlash of it. Same thing with Drake when he was um had a Grammy speech. I think a couple years ago was like, hey, did this little thing don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing at all. Like, it matters to people that's going to your shows and everything. But at the same time, people want that validation. Beyonce, I know, she did all the tours, all that, this, and the third. She still want that validation. Still want that validation. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All that good stuff. And just like that, people, we gone. And like that. And like that.